thanks for clicking on this video. I know I'm wearing the same clothes I was wearing last week. I am going on vacation, so I film these videos back to back. Today, I wanna to talk about different poses you can do for OnlyFans. I had someone comment that they were wondering what poses to do. They were having a hard time coming up with content ideas. I'll show you the poses I do if I have new lingerie or new bikini. I think they'll be really helpful. Before I get started, I just wanted to say this. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so I can continue making content like this for you to help you grow your OnlyFans and to help you be successful on the platform. Also, if you haven't created an account yet, be sure to use my referral link. It's in the description below on my Instagram. Click the link to my Instagram and then it's on my link tree. You'll find the referral link. From there, you can create your account. If you already have an account, unfortunately, you will not be able to use the referral link. But if you do use the referral link, I can send you a new creator document I made to help you be successful on OnlyFans. If you created an account and you have not had it verified yet, you can delete your account and remake another account with my referral link so I can help you along your process. Make sure you guys take notes because I have a lot of good information here, whether you're screenshotting each pose I do because I'm gonna physically do the pose so that you can see, not just like have to hear what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go through 21 poses. There's gonna be three categories and I'll go through seven in each category. Just a quick side note, I will take 100 pictures of myself and there won't be five to seven that I actually like. If you're taking a bunch of pictures and you're like, oh, I hate these, why can't I be photogenic, blah, blah, blah. No one is photogenic. You have to take a ton of pictures of yourself to be like, okay, this is my angle, this looks good, this doesn't. And if you take a bad picture, just laugh at it because we all take bad pictures. And it's so funny, like I'm trying to be hot and I look ridiculous. <laughs> okay, let's start with long mirror pictures. If you don't have a long like floor length mirror, you can also do all of these poses without. The mirror just adds an extra something to the picture. But if you don't have that, you can do it without too. I'm gonna move the camera so that you guys can see exactly what I do. Okay, I'm on my front facing camera now, so if the quality is bad as good, I'm really sorry. This is my long mirror. It's like floor length. I just got it on Amazon. Okay, I will show you, I have an extra phone, so I'll show you how I hold my camera and what I do in the mirror for the long mirror ones. The first one I do, I'll have my legs open like this, and I, I'll either take it right from here, I'll put my phone in my face like this. I'll leave in have my legs open like this, take it that way. So that's one pose that you can do. The next one is like, you have to be a little bit flexible for it. So if you're not flexible, you can just like fast forward a few seconds. This one, I'll keep my phone down for a second and I'll bring my right leg up like this, grab my phone. And remember I'm in lingerie or a bikini here. I'm not in sweatpants and bing. So that one's obviously not for everyone, that's okay. The next one, I'll be just like this, and I'll have my phone like this, and I'll like put my head back so my hair looks longer, and like that like goes like right above my buttocks. And I'll take a picture like that. Also, I'll do one facing backward, but I'll look over my shoulder. It's like my face is in that one a little bit more, but I'm still facing backward. I'll do one where I'm down like this and i'll take one like that the bet oh gosh facing the other way and then you just put your phone like above your head and bang take the picture like that if you do not have a long mirror and you're just starting only fans do not go buy a long mirror just for these pictures wait until your business grows i did only fans for a year and a couple months before i bought a long mirror if you don't have a long mirror right now do not go buy one you can do all, all these things i'm doing just with your phone so that was six, seven. And you can probably do this one from the side. Arching your back a little bit. You can grab your heels. I'd probably cover my face and like arch as much as I can. Take a pic like that. Those are the long mirror pictures. Most of them you can do without the mirror. Basically you would just have your phone set up and you would get in the poses that I named. You would just take the picture from there. If you have an iPhone, you can set your phone to have three second or 10 second wait time if, when you press the button and then you can get in the position and it'll take the picture. I just recently got a 
tripod that it came with a clicker and I can click the button and it'll take the picture for me so I can get a bunch of poses and take the picture. I bought that when I bought this mirror. So I did OnlyFans for a, a little over a year without having that. Don't, don't go buying anything until you know this is for you and this is something you're gonna be doing. I am obsessed with yoga. I really love yoga. I will do yoga poses that I will do as OnlyFans content. These are not super flexible. You don't need to be crazy flexible for these. If you want feet content to be applied to this, you just have to make sure your feet are in the pictures or videos, of course. The first First yoga pose that I do often is down dog. Remember bikini lingerie, you're gonna be able to see more. You won't be able to see everything because I'm just in so fans. Like go in a plank position and then you just push, push up like that. I would maybe be facing more sideways so they can get more of like a butt view. Maybe like that. Make sure my back is like super arched. That would be down dog. So the next one I'll do is a seated forward fold. Going down, folding like this. This one, like, you can like make it cute. Probably even for this, you can be more like facing this way. Or like instead of the forward fold, like legs open, legs open to either side. And of course you're not getting the full effect because I'm in sweatpants, but. The third one I do is a warrior two pose. Warrior two, your legs are open and you're just like leaning over your front leg, your front foot, your toes are pointed all the way sideways and your back foot, they're like at a 45 degree angle in. And then, so this one, you know, you can like reach up or you can do it from the back so your booty's in it. It depends what your main features are, like mine's in the back. So a lot of my pictures are from the back. If you have big, that you're showing off, you can do both. <laughs> Another variation of that is like a wide-legged forward fold. So you can be facing this way and fold over and they'll be able to see your, pretty much everything that you're working with, they will be able to see. You can do a horse pose, which is legs are open and you just bend down, just bend down in the horse pose. And just like, you know, play around with it. This is just like the part your body's in. Of course, from the back is always an option. So this last one is figure four for my yoga pose ones. You're just sitting up like this and then cross your knee around. This will be out. <laughs> my foot's in it for feet content people. It's just a different space for your body to be in instead of just standing there doing the same thing over and over again. And you can just like, play around, then make it fun. You can like move your legs, see a good position for your legs to be in to make it look good for you. Those are the yoga ones. I love yoga and I think it's, if you have your own niche to incorporate it into your OnlyFans is really good. For yoga as well, you can just Google all the different yoga poses. Just do them in lingerie, or bikini, at the beach, in the mountains, whatever your thing is, on a tractor, anything. You can just do them anywhere, anytime, any place. These next poses are just poses that are just without the mirror, nothing crazy special, just poses that I'll do for my page. Okay, the first one I do is I'll have my camera and I'll try to get a lower angle of back here and I'll put my hand up. I just noticed that when the camera angle is lower, I look bigger back here. If I'm having a hard time getting one like this, I will set up my camera just to be lower. So the camera is just lower so that when I take the picture, you're getting like underneath and it just makes makes me look larger and I like that. <laughs> okay, this next one, you can use a wall. You can have a wall and I'll put my hands up on the wall like this. That's a pose I'll do a lot. So for these poses, I'm setting up my camera and then setting like three seconds or 10 seconds on the photo settings, I press it and then I get into position. Can you see like, my back is super arched and then my booty looks good. For my OnlyFans pictures, I have my phone facing this way. And for YouTube right now, I have it facing this way. I'm having a hard time like showing you exactly what it looks like. But you can use the wall. The wall is your friend. We are now on the couch. The couch is another really good place to take pictures and videos. On the couch, I will put my legs like this, maybe lean over a little bit, show a little bit of what I got, and I'll lean over. I'll do that from the back as well, like that. This can be on the couch or not on the couch. Mouth play, like something where your finger's on your mouth. 
Sometimes I'll put my index finger on my lips like. You can sit on your booty and arch your back a lot. Any new position you can get your body into, like that would be a good video too. It's just like showing the movement of your body. They really like that. And of course, the last one is gonna be using a chair. If you can come up with more chair stuff, that's awesome. That's really all I could come up with <laughs> for chair stuff. I'm always on my chair trying to figure out how to make it look better than it is looking. If you have any ideas, you can comment and let me know. So that's 21 poses. <laughs> if there's any hobby you have and you can do it in lingerie or bikini or a costume, fans really love that because it's personal to you and it makes you just a little bit different than everyone else. I kind of showed you mine. I love yoga, so I will do a lot of yoga stuff on my page. I like to do oral fixation videos where I'm eating something like chocolate or a banana. Fans really love that. TikTok transitions and TikTok dances I do as well and people enjoy that too because it just adds a different flavor to the mix. You can make all of these photo ideas into videos. Like have the whole video be you getting into the pose, you can like move around a little bit in the pose, getting out of it. This is a massive opportunity, so put the work in and don't give up on it. If you have anything you'd like me to talk about, please leave a comment below. I love reading the comments and seeing what you guys want me to discuss in my videos. So thanks for watching. Bye.